Okay, we're going to be looking at how to create your own parts. Um, so here is this spherical wedge that I created. We're going to go through how I did this and how I added it to my part collection over here. So let's start. We're going to start by dragging a box, a sphere, and the roof over. Now I'm going to focus on the roof and the sphere at first. I'm sorry, I'm going to focus on the roof and the cube first. So I'm going to make this a slice, and then I'm going to spin around and flip it 90 degrees so it takes a chunk out of my box. So now I'm going to drag over my box. And what I want to do is line up the box with my roof shape. And I'm going to, to do that, I'm going to make this one taller. Looks like one of them is and then go to the side and just line them up. So I take a triangle chunk right out of that. Now in order to take the chunk out of it, I have to make this roof a hole. So now I've made it a hole. Now I can hold shift and click on the box as well, or I could just drag around the two shapes. But I want to make sure I don't get the sphere here. So I'm going to take that out of view if I'm going to drag. And then I'm going to go group. And you can see what happens when I group. Now there's a hole out, a triangular wedge out of that box. So now we want to use this wedge to slice a circular, a spherical wedge out of the sphere. So we're going to go ahead and drag the sphere over. And then I'm going to make the, what's going to happen is I'm going to use this box to chop off everything except for the wedge that I want. I think you can start to see the shape now. So let's just line it up a little bit here. I just want the wedge, so I didn't want those extra parts sticking out. Now I'm going to click on the box and make it a hole. And now you can start to see, if I, as I rotate around, the shape that I'm trying to get. So now if I want to shift-click and have both of them, I can align them. And I'm just going to rotate around and make sure that the only part of the sphere sticking out is sticking out of that triangular chunk that I took out of it, because that's my goal. So let's rotate around it, done aligning it, and it looks like it's all in there. So now, if that's the shape that I want, I can group these, and I have a spherical wedge I just took out of it. Now that's not a shape that's offered in the Tinkercad collection here. So then what you're going to do is go to the drop down, go to you, and go to your part collection, and go to create part, and name your part. I might tag it like wedge, uh, spherical, custom, if I'm looking for it later. Uh, if you lock the part size, you won't be able to scale it up. You can make it a solid color, go with some Giants colors, get ready for the season, uh, save part. And now I've got the part in my collection. So use this same idea to make your own custom part. Try going through and making the spherical wedge like I did, and then making another shape of, of your own using the same idea of multiple shapes and holes.